Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. The Internet Control Message Protocol, otherwise known as ICMP, is a Layer 3 protocol. And that's Layer 3 on the OSI model, so it operates at the network layer. On the DoD model, it's layer 2, the internet layer. And ICMP is a management and messaging protocol. What that means is ICMP is designed to actually send messages to and from different hosts. And it's very commonly used in troubleshooting network issues. Some common ICMP messages that are sent are destination network unreachable, buffer full, or source quench, hops, Time exceeded, echo request, echo reply. The destination network unreachable is commonly sent by a router that lets the host know that whatever network they're trying to get to is unreachable. Buffer full, source quench, that means that it's actually congestion control. Uh, it basically, the router is saying, hey, my buffer's full or I'm running out of memory. Can you slow down your throughput or how much you're trying to send through my router? Hops time exceeded. This means that the time to live of a packet was exceeded. And echo request and echo reply, this is commonly used in ping, which is a tool that uses ICMP. These are tools we use to troubleshoot network issues. The first one is ping. And all ping does is basically send an ICMP message that is an echo request to another IP address. And then if it reaches that host, whatever the destination is, that host sends back an echo reply and says, hey, I'm up. Trace route lets you know the path a packet takes to get to its destination. So each hop or each router that a packet crosses, that router is going to send back an ICMP message to the host. So let's actually take a look at ping and trace route. Okay, I'm on a router here. I'm consoled into it. And let's say I want to see if a host 10.10.30.254 is up and running. Or I want to see if this particular router can contact that particular, what happens to be a router. It could be a host as well, or we could be doing this from a host to a router. So I'm going to type in ping and then the IP address. And hit enter. And we can see it send five ICMP echo requests to 10.10.30.254. And these exclamation points actually are successes. If you see a dot, just a period, that means it was a failure. Let's me know my success rate was 100% and the round trip time. So let's try to ping 253 and hit enter. That host actually doesn't exist. So you can see I'm getting periods here and this will fail. So success rate is 0%. So if I was trying to ping a host that I thought was up and I pinged it and it failed, then I know something's wrong uh, with the network connection between my source and my destination. And we're going to be using ping a lot when we troubleshoot, so we'll see it a lot more. The next one is trace route. So I'm going to type in trace route. 10.10.30.254 and hit enter. This is going to show me each router this packet had to go over to get to its destination. So it had to go over router 10.10.10.254 and then over router 10.10.20.254 and then finally it hit its destination at 10.10.30.254. Trace route can be very handy uh, if there's a failure, like let's say you can't ping a particular host. Then you use traceroute to see actually where the failure is. One thing to note about ICMP when you're going across the internet or someone else's network that you don't manage is that ICMP is commonly disabled. That's a common security practice. So just because you can't ping or traceroute to a host over the internet that's connected to someone else's network doesn't mean that that host is not up. It could be that ICMP is actually disabled, so ping or traceroute is not going to work. But from within your network, you'll know whether or not ICMP is disabled or not. 
and you'll know whether or not if you can ping a host and it doesn't work, if you've got ICMP enabled, you'll know that, okay, that host must be down because I have ICMP enabled on all my routers.